This is Michelle in Stony Silence Workshop, and I wanted to show you uh, something I did to build upon the sheet that Kay Hall provided in her blog post, Where Are the Digital Stamps for um, EK Success Punches? And I was asking myself the same thing, and that's how I came across her blog post. And I thought it was really generous and nice of her to, to make these uh, digit stamps to match this EK Success Punch, which I really never liked that much until she made these. I thought it was a little too ornate, and I hardly ever used it. And when I saw this, I thought, I have that punch. I think I'll try it. And so I tried it, and I think it's great. Now I like it a lot. Uh, so, a lot of people were asking, these need to be resized, you know, why did you leave this margin around here? I was thinking the same thing until I actually put it on a card and I understood exactly why she left them there and I'll show you why. Or why you might be glad that she left them there. Once you punch it out, you can either use it directly like this and it has a nice little uh, border around it, right? Or if you want to punch a little window in your card like this and then you can, if you take your scissors and just, anyway, you just follow this, follow exactly the inner design, you can cut out a little bit smaller version of that shape and it gives it some dimension and layering effect. So um, I think that's why she left those. So now you will appreciate that. But if you still want it to fill your entire punch, I have the answer for you because uh, one of the links that got me thinking about how I could use this design to work with any of my punches and I'll show you what it planted the seeds for. I was feeling embarrassed that I had posted posted the um, comment about you know if you ever uh, I hope I hope you'll make a a label design or digi stamp that matches this journaling punch because I really love it. And then I felt embarrassed that I had done that and started to think, well, you know, maybe I should do it myself and share it. So what I did instead was come up with this. And this is my version of Kay's stamps. Let's see, and I find one that's good. This, I did this on cream color cardstock um, on a black and white printer, black laser printer. I used a um, custom shape, the shapes tool in my in Photoshop and um, made these little shapes and then I made a seamless background of just a couple of pixels of black and a couple of pixels of white. Save that as a pe background pattern. So you want to get right in between these two, just line, line it up like this, cut a little strip, and then you can use any of your punches and it fits any of them. Watch. I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And there's, there's one that's with the real estate sign. And here's the journaling, EK Success journaling punch. Almost everything ends up looking cute. And it's really easy to line things up on this one because it's got these little pointy doodads on either end. So you know that's the horizontal center. You line that up, kind of eyeball here. Actually, you can use these brackets to line up the lines problem with these ones that have these EK success ones that add these extra designs in one punch is that you can't punch out the window with it because unless you want this extra stuff. I don't like that. So there's two designs out of that same thing. And let's do it with this. I don't know what this one's called. But it's got three kind of, maybe it's called library tags or something. I can't remember. It's very simple and it's really 
a really handy one to have. Line it up like that. Maybe use those little extras for something else. There we've got another one. All from the same exact strip. The middle, the straight line, is the most versatile one of all. And let me show you why. It's very, um, it fits with anything, and I think it just is a really nice, clean look. So any of those designs, here's just a plain strip that goes across. So, um, like this comes out really cute here. So then you can either add some text, you know, either rubber stamp or hand write some text right onto that little label. And then here's something else really cute that's good for layering is you can use your uh, Fiskars or any um, circle punch and it comes out really cute too. That's cute. And um, so I think that's pretty cute because if you wanted to do something like this with you know, uh, Stampin' Up! has the movers and shapers that cuts this larger layer and then a hand punch that cuts a little bit smaller and then sells um, coordinating stamp rubber stamps. But that's a pretty big investment for one design. You're spending probably 30 or $40 for the movers and shapers, probably $25 for the punch. So you're at, what, two to get this kind of versatility for one design. So uh, that's why I like this. Cute, huh? So, um, that is my version of Kay's design.